What's up, guys? It is Frankie here. This is the 2020 NFL Week 7 Recap. Just a little warning beforehand. I have a cold right now. I sound terrible. Uh, this probably won't be a very long video because of that, but I just wanted to tell you guys that uh, right beforehand. Let's get to the probably what's going to be the game of the week now uh, that just ended. Seahawks-Cardinals. Was this fantastic or what? I mean, Kyler Murray and Russell Wilson going back and forth. So many crazy plays in this game. By the way, Russell Wilson has not fallen off my NFL MVP uh, uh, tracker. Not, not, not after this game. Even, even though they lost, he was still sensational tonight. Uh, and he did throw the game when he touched down before it got called back through the holding. Um, and, and he did throw the, the game losing interception, but he was still fantastic for most of it. Um, and then you had Kyle Murray doing Kyle Murray things. 360 uh, yards passing, 67 yards uh, rushing. Uh, uh, three touchdown passing, uh, one, one rushing touchdown. Um, just a fantastic performance from him. We have to look now at the possibility that the NFC West might get three class teams. I think we were talking about that at the beginning of the year, but with, between them, the Seahawks, the Rams, and even the Niners, looking out, look an eye out for this NFC West. I'm not not going to give up on the Seahawks after one loss here. It was a bad loss, but I, they're still a great team, probably the best team in the NFC. They've been so great all year. Um, and tonight, you know, really, with all the points they did, unfortunately, they're just not great on defense tonight. Um, but, yeah, the ending of this game is amazing. The holding penalty, the interception, uh, Arizona missing the field goal at the beginning, uh, near the beginning of overtime, and then uh, again that field goal late. The Metcalf uh, being able to run down uh, a pick six and prevent a pick six there. There were so many just uh, great moments. Tyra Lockett tonight was fantastic with the three touchdowns. So a lot of great performances here in this game tonight. Um, maybe, again, maybe the game of the week. Uh, one of the best games so far of the year. I'm so glad we got this game on Sunday Night Football. Even though, you know, we, they had to move to the Bucks Raiders. I'm so glad we got this game instead uh, to finish up the Sunday games. Because, again, this, this game was terrific from start to finish. And the and two of the two of the it's Seahawks are obviously probably the best team in the NFC. Arizona is a top team. It is a rising team here. And so to see, see these two teams go at it was a lot of fun. And uh, very enjoyable. So, good to that. Um, let's get to the rest of these games here. This was probably the best weekend of the season so far in terms of wildness, in terms of drama. Uh, we start off with the Steelers and Titans. Uh, and now, as, speaking of the Seahawks, congratulations to Pittsburgh Steelers. Right now, the only undefeated team left in the NFL. Um, another fantastic performance out of them. They took on Tennessee, the other undefeated uh, team in the AFC. Uh, Pittsburgh played so well. Um, Scoring on their first four possessions. Deontay Johnson, nine catches for 80 yards, two touchdowns. Um, now, I mean, they did have some moments. There. I mean, the Titans did come back in the fourth, so not the best showing there for uh, Pittsburgh late on their, in, in the defense department late, especially with all the uh, big plays they gave up. But they're still a great team. They're still great on both sides of the ball. Ben is still playing well. They have a good running game, great receivers, um, and the defense has been really solid as well. For the most part, not today. Uh, but at the beginning of today, but not at the end. But Pittsburgh has... Pittsburgh is going to make it such a strong case this year. I didn't think that we'd be saying that Pittsburgh would be one of the top two or three teams in the AFC at the beginning of the year, but maybe I should have with Big Ben coming back. They've been terrific. Tennessee's still been terrific, too. Bad game here. I mean, you can at least be proud of the fourth quarter and how you fought back. Um, but, yeah, it's a bad loss there, but I feel like the Tennessee would find a soul believer in, in this in this bunch. Uh, but, overall, a nice win there for Pittsburgh. New Orleans, this was the best performance they had all year. They beat Carolina 27-24. It is Carolina, a team that has overachieved, I would say. Um... But for New Orleans here, this was, uh, even without Michael Thomas and Emmanuel Sanders, they, they were terrific on offense, 27 points. Breeze looked much better. Uh, Alvin Kamara, 83 rushing yards and 63 receiving yards. Uh, the defense is also, like the Pittsburgh defense struggled a little bit today. Um, but I'm still, I'm, st I'm still believing in them. I'm still believing in I don't want to give up on Drew Breeze. I don't want to give up. I know a couple weeks ago I was like, oh, Drew Breeze looked awful. I don't want to give up on him because he, he's been a great quarterback all my life. I love watching him. So I, I don't want to see him like near the end of his career. Uh, I mean, it happens to everybody, but I don't want to see him fall down like this. Um, so maybe he was just uh, dusting off, uh, again, I, I keep saying he was dusting off the combos at the beginning of the year without training camp. Or without, not, they had training camp, but without like a preseason. So, uh, but he, he looked much better today. And the Saints offense, and again, if you bring Mike Thomas and Sanders, who knows what they can do. Uh, but credit to New Orleans for, uh, for uh, fantastic they were in offense today. Uh, again, and Carolina, Teddy Bridgewater, you may have a quarterback there in Carolina. I don't know about you know, long term, but Teddy Bridgewater is good. Um, it's just that, uh, it's that the, the, the defense could not stop the Saints. The Saints were, uh, 12 or 14 on third down against Carolina. And that's gotta be so depressing. If you're an offense, you just sit there and just like, wow, we can't, we, we, we can't get on the field in several lives. Uh, but good win for New Orleans. And they continue to improve here on this season. Um, Green Bay beat Houston. Um, I, I, I think like most people, I, I thought that what happened last week against, uh, Tampa Bay was more of a fluke. Um, I didn't expect that most of them. It is Houston. It's a team that's falling apart. Um, but... They were great on offense against special Tate. Rodgers had another fantastic day. Devontae Adams, 50 catches for 196 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, Pittsburgh, I think, is fine. Um, they have Minnesota next uh, next Sunday, which should be a little bit interesting there. Um, considering what's happened with Minnesota this year. Uh, but 
Yeah, even without Aaron Jones, even without David Bakari uh, as, as your left tackle, uh, Pittsburgh still has enough talent that they can that they can go far here in the NFC and that they can contend for the NFC North title. We'll see how the Bears do tomorrow, but um, they, they, we've got, we we know that they're talented enough. And Aaron Rodgers again is playing with playing with a fire this entire season because he sees the end he sees the end is coming. He sees it on the bench and he does not want to let Jordan Love get in there yet. Uh, Jordan Love, Lowe, whatever his name is. Again, I'm, I'm on cold medicine, so don't blame me if I make a mistake here. But good job by Green Bay. They win it uh, 15. Um, Lions Falcons, a game I had no interest of. In. This may have been the most exciting game of the day. Well, actually, before the Seahawks Cardinals game, this finish was ridiculous. Todd Gurley all trying to score a touchdown or trying not to score a touchdown, and then like falling and scoring a touchdown. That was a wild moment. I think that happened like ten years. I'm trying to remember. Ahmad Bradshaw. That happened to Ahmad Bradshaw. I remember Ahmad Bradshaw was supposed to not score the touchdown uh, against the Patriots, and like he fell in the end zone. He landed on his rear end, and and, and people were wondering, oh my gosh, he just cost the Giants the game. Um, he didn't though, thankfully. Um, but the, yeah, so yeah, Gurley scored a touchdown, not supposed to. But then you had Detroit come back there late. Uh, Stafford looked fantastic, um, and then the touchdown to uh, Hawkinson to tie, and then the extra point to win it. That was um, that was an amazing job there. Okay, both teams aren't going anywhere probably, uh, but that was fantastic one for the Lions. And if you're a Falcons fan, you just like why. You just cannot believe this keeps happening. Oh, also, credit to the Panthers on uh, the 65-yard field goal attempt today. That was an amazing moment, even though they didn't make it. That was, I, I, I could not believe I was watching that one happen. Like, they were actually going to try to tie the game on a 65-yard field goal. It didn't work, but it was fun to watch. Um, give me some excitement on this. Uh, 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 give me some added excitement here on this football Sunday. I don't want to talk about the Jets. Again, I keep saying this, but I don't want to talk about the Jets. They stink. They're awful. Even when you play call, they're still bad. Uh, the, the Bills didn't score one touchdown all day, and the Jets still lost them. Um... Great job with the Bills defense, though, today. Um, they only allowed four yards of total offense um, in the second half, I believe. <laughs> Unbelievable. After, after They were bad in the first half, and then they only allowed four yards of total offense. Five sacks and two takeaways. Um, they're a great defensive team. Even though on a day where their offense isn't great, they have enough defense that, that they will overcome it. Um, and I, usually, I usually think their offense is good. Just It was just not today. Um, but Bills keep it rolling here, and they're now the favorite to, to win the AFC East, and we'll get to that here in just a second. Browns Bengals another fantastic game today. Mayfield and Burrow. I'm I'm really starting to believe in Joe Burrow. I, I know I should have already, but man, this guy seems like he's the future. Um, every day he just ma- makes you like wow. Like he's every every bit as good as, as he was when he was at LSU. Four hundred and six passing yards on thirty five to forty six. Three touchdowns, uh, one interception. Um, it just so happens the team around him is not very good yet. Um, credit to Cleveland. Um, you know, see they're, they're still good folks. I, people were ready to like oh, I don't know about Cleveland now after the loss, but you know what? There's still a good offensive team. I don't know how bad Odell's injury is. It looks like it's bad. So losing him will be tough uh, if they do for any period of time, for any long period of time. Uh, but Mayfield still got enough talent on that Cleveland team, and he's and you know what? I don't know. I don't. I don't this year he's been better. He's been much better this year. Um, Twenty-one consecutive completions in this game. Three touchdowns in the fourth quarter alone for the comeback victory for Cleveland. Um, they continue to be. A, they continue to be a really solid uh, offensive team here. Um, so yeah, and they, they've they've improved so much here throughout uh, this season. Um, Washington, Dallas, oh my gosh. the NFC East. Just go to hell. Go to hell, NFC East. I did feel bad for Andy Dalton. I'm surprised his neck didn't snap after that just awful, awful hit. Um, the Cowboys are just are garbage without Jack. I, I don't know why we all thought Andy Dalton. Even, even when Dalton was in the game, he wasn't very good. It's just it, it's a terrible situation. Somebody's going to win this division. I don't know who. I don't really care. They're probably going to lose in the first round anyway. I can't watch any more of this. I can't wait. They have seven wins through seven weeks, and like five of those wins came in the division. It is abysmal. Absolutely abysmal. Um, Bucks and Raiders. So get, get into the 4 o'clock games here. Um, Tampa's good, folks. Tampa is good, and they have been getting better every single week. As I, as they were bad in week one. They've been better every single week. Tom Brady, 369 passing yards, four touchdowns, one rushing touchdown. Um, it was great seeing uh, Gronk getting more involved. If you add Antonio Brown, I, 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 I can really be... We, we may have to really look at the Bucks' offense as being one of the best in the NFL if Brown is back. And he, he is the same Antonio Brown that he was back when he, a couple of years ago. Uh, I won't know for that back. Sure, because, you know, he's had some time off. But if he's the Antonio Brown that we all know, um, then then look out. Um, but the and then the uh, – yeah, for the Raiders here, it, they, they've been not looking bad here. Maybe they had some trouble this week with the whole COVID stuff that happened there. Um the, the, the little, not like an outbreak, but you know, the, the, you know, having Trent Brown with COVID, uh, maybe that uh, messed things up there. But they look bad today. They're, they're falling at three and three. Um, they couldn't run today, and their defense uh, was not getting any pressure on Brady at all, which is the best way to, to get to Brady is to get pressure on him. Uh, but man, Tampa, th- th- uh, three touchdowns in the fourth quarter. They're five and two in the. Uh, they're five and two right now on top of the NFC South. 
They're looking for a legit. You know what? Maybe Tom Brady's not over the cliff yet. He's looking better. He's looking better every week. So um, good job for, uh, for Tampa. Kansas City's still the best team in football. Uh, even on a game when Patrick Mahomes isn't great again because of the snow, he's just amazing. And um, you, know, and you add Le'Veon Bell, it's just like, gosh, who's beating this team? Who's beating – I know the Raiders just did a couple weeks. I'm not – in the postseason, who's beating them? It's hard to see anybody right now. They're just too darn good. And sorry to Denver. Um, all right, let's get to the Patriots. What the heck is happening? What the heck is happening to this team is – they they looked – and. Um, Somebody, uh, Mike Rice today of, of ESPN said stunningly non-competitive, which is something you never thought you would say about a Patriots team, but that's what they are right now. They are stunningly non-competitive. Is it, Cam has not been the same since he's gotten COVID. He he went from like, wow, this guy might be he's rejuvenated under Belichick. Now he can't throw the ball at all. Three interceptions, never looked comfortable. Um, it just the quarterbacks are awful. Eleven interceptions. Um, uh, yeah, the Patriots have thrown 11 interceptions here, three touchdown passes in, in, in the first six games. They don't look good at all. Uh, Cam, again, has regressed. Uh, Belichick says he's going to stick with Cam, but and I expect Cam to be better eventually, but I do have to wonder, like, how much, because we've heard about some of the long term, some guys can come back from COVID very well. Donovan Mitchell came back from COVID really well. Um, there are people who were able to respond well from it. Cam so far is not. And we gotta wonder, like, what, is, is he having is he having any effect right now? Because he again, he looks bad. He looks lost out there. And credit to San Francisco, who is um, who was, who was reminding us, you know. And look, they lost to the Dolphins a couple weeks ago. It was really bad. And over the last couple of weeks, they found themselves again. The running game is still great. And uh, they found that they found the they found that the play their uh, their passing has been uh, better here uh, as of late as well, um, even with all the injuries. But. And Jeff Wilson, 112 rushing yards, three touchdowns. So credit to them. Uh, but I think the big story out of this game, sorry, San Francisco, is New England. And it's just like, what the heck is happening to this team? And can they recover? And now, next week you get the Bills, who are leading that division. It's like, are the Patriots going to go to 2-5? and five? It, We are seeing some unprecedented times here with Bill Belichick and this Patriots team. Um, it is it's really shocking to watch. Final game of the day, Chargers and Jaguars. Um, this was another fun game. Justin Herbert still, even though this game I really had no interest in, Justin Herbert... Um, one of uh, he, he looks like a, he looks like a quarterback here for the future for, for uh, Los Angeles, just like with Burrow for the Bengals. He looks like he's got all the intangibles. Uh, three touchdowns, three hundred forty-seven yards. Uh, ran a touchdown on the ground. Um, he, he, he's looking good here. Um, he's he's a better team around him as well. He needs to develop more with this team. And the Jaguars, Doug Marone, I don't know how much longer he has there left. It's just it's a it, it's an awful situation there in Jacksonville. And their defense has just been giving up so many points, so it's bad to say. So, I said this was going to be a short video, and it turned out to be 12 and a half minutes. Um, but this was, again, a great, great week seven. Uh, we still got Bears-Rams tomorrow. I don't think I'll be able to do a Bears-Rams video, Bears video tomorrow because I'm so sick. Um, but you know, maybe I'll do something. Maybe I'll feel better tomorrow. I have no idea. But, um, so, yeah, I just want to tell you guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys are new to this channel, you guys can see me. Make sure you subscribe down below. I don't know who my next video will be. Uh, it will be it will be soon, but I don't know when because uh, again everything uh, changes here when you have a cold. And hopefully, and let's pray it's just a cold. Uh, but thank you guys for watching this, and I will see you guys soon for more football and baseball content. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys then.